Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do an update, overview, and a bit of a product showcase for the bald jig I designed. I made quite a bit of progress from the previous iteration as you can see and I wanted to share it with you all. I'm going to start with a quick glance of what it looks like finished and then I'll tear it all down, show you exactly what the kit comes with that you can buy, and assemble the entire jig step by step, start to finish. So we've got the IQ Tour Ruby staged up here just for show. This is the top, you can kind of see all the knobs here, lock everything down. Top plate, bottom plate, and then we've got the zero center ruler, one for each axis with these points for precision. Off to the side, you can see now that we have the two uprisers that secure directly to the actual table itself. And then on the back, we have one that pinches between the two plates. So the first step is you need to purchase this XY table, this cross slide from Amazon. This is what allows you to put pitches into the bowling ball left and right laterally, front to back, forward and reverse. I'm also working on one for the little green one that's down the road if there's enough interest. This cross slide is available directly to Amazon. I'll have the link in the description. Prices are changing, but as of today, it is 151.61. And then we'll move over here to the kit. So here's a look at everything you receive in the kit. Obviously we're going to start with the uh, bottom and the top plate for the jig. We have two large uprisers, four smaller uprisers, and the knobs for the top that secure four and two. For the uprisers to secure to the bottom and top plate, we have the four nuts, four washers, Securing the base plate to the physical table itself, four bolts, four washers, and four lock washers, eight T-slot nuts, two zero center rulers, and two centering gauges. Give you an up close of the plates so you can kind of see. I've already installed this one, so you can see there's a bit of indents. And same thing with the top plate. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move over here to the table and we'll start installing it step by step. All right. Step one, take four of the T-slot nuts, put two in the furthest slot back, and two in the front slot. This side up, the thick part down. Step two, take the bottom plate, Short side in the front, two holes in the back, and you're going to pretty much line these up with the T-slot nuts. Then, step three, you're going to take the smaller bolt, start with the lock washer first, then the flat washer, like that. Line up just any one of these holes with the first T-slot nut. Just finger tight so that you can still move it around. This way you can get all four of the other ones lined up. But you can see that that one is already in. I'm going to repeat this process four times total. So lock nut, flat nut. into the T-slot. Keep it just loose enough so where you can keep sliding things around. Lock nut, flat nut. Fourth and final one. Okay, just keep, leave those finger tight. Alright, the next step is to take the two 
large uprisers, four large washers, and the four large nuts. Now, you're going to want to pre-thread about an inch and a half up, like this. One washer. And then you're going to put this through one of the holes. Let's we'll start here on the left. And then beneath, I'm going to put the other washer and nut. And you get that tight with your fingers. Same thing here on the opposite side. Pre-thread the bolt about an inch and a half. Washer on. Slide it through the hole. Washer and a nut on the bottom. And you can adjust these to have as much overhang underneath as you like. I usually just keep them flush with the nuts. Now, once those are in, you can kind of just play with this around. Get it as centered as possible as you can. If your drill has a laser light, sometimes that can help. But I just got it as centered as I could on the table. This way all of the weight is evenly distributed as possible from as soon as you start setting everything up. Once everything is at least close to center, or at least where you like it, you can tighten these down, crank on them, 11 sixteenths, tighten them all the way down until the lock nut or the lock washer it is flat. Next up, take two wrenches, 19 millimeter or three quarters, depending on where you're from. Keep one steady and you can tighten these down. Then, once you've got everything secure, you can throw a ball in, just for display. And honestly, that is 90% of the installation. But, you get the top plate on, take one of the smaller uprisers, again, Thick side on the bottom, thin side goes up top. Just screws in. Get this close to flush. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't really matter. And then this just slides in the bottom T slot of the actual table and through the slot. Take the knob. I glued these on just to make it easier and then you're going to repeat that for pretty much all four take the two larger knobs for the back And that's pretty much all there is to it as far as mounting. You just break these loose. These four just slide out when you're ready. Loosen these up. 
plate pops on and off. Now the ruler and the arrow for centering are the last thing you should do. You want to find a way to center the ball. I'm going to use a plug cutter, which is what you should use. And then what you want to do is pull the plug cutter down, get it to where the ball is dead center, left or right, on your table. So you can see I'm just moving the table back and forth until I get this dead center. And now I know that that's where I want my zero to be for that axis. Spin 90 degrees and I would move the camera 90 degrees as well. I'm going to get you as far as I can. And you're going to do the same thing for the opposite direction and the opposite handle on the on the table. You're just going to kind of move it until you get the ball dead center both directions. Find your zero. And then from here, once you have the ball dead center both directions, you know your table is centered. Once the table is centered, you can go ahead and come down here and your ruler wouldn't be on yet. All right, so we're gonna have to use our imagination here. I can't find a, a new one right now. Um, you get the arrow put on first and I use the corner, that way I could make sure it was flush and pointing dead straight. Then, again, with the ball 100% zeroed with your drill press and your plug cutter, this is an adhesive ruler just go ahead and pretend that 12 is zero, but you just slide it behind, get it exactly where center is for you, and then you can just go ahead and stick it on. And then that way when you move the table, you can move a half inch to the left, half inch to the right, and that's how you always know how to get back to zero, which is where your plug cutter is dead center, won't cut anything uneven. And then you can put pitches in reliably and repeatably. Repeat the same process for the second side. You can see here, again, I used this edge here to make sure that this was directly perpendicular and you get your zero point, get your ruler on there and stick it exactly where your zero is. And you can always find zero on both axes back and forth. So then once you've got it all put together, you just toss the ball on Throw the top plate in, slide these in, on each side. Tighten everything up. And then you're good to go. And it's not going nowhere. Then you can adjust it. Left and right for your laterals, forward and back for your forward and reverse pitches. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Find me on Facebook, send me an email, leave a comment, whatever you need to do. All right, quick little drill video today. Nothing too crazy. Got the tournament on Saturday. I'm gonna drill up this proton physics, lay it out. I'm gonna do the short pin layout just like I did on my absolute. Two inches pin to pap. I'm pretty sure six inch PSA to pap. 
So that's where my access point will be. Pin to center grip. Pretty sure is five. So this will be two by six by five, two LS. Um, my access point is up 1.5. So we're going to reverse that, go down 1.5. And then my lightning arc should be uh, five and a half. She has me. Can't stop when you turn. 